Hello. Okay. So uh, in this video, we will learn that how we can how we can get customer reviews on our Reflow website. So there is a form. You can see that uh, we can get the use. We can get the customer name. We can get the text review, and we can get the overall experience. So we can use stars as well as we can use emojis. So for this purpose, we are we are utilizing um, FinSuite star rating attributes and there is a shortcut to this uh, so rather than going step by step copying the script and then applying the attributes so there is a shortcut that you can make use of accessible components so you, you just have to install the library and if you go to the adding components and go to the layouts so you can see that you you have the accessible components there so you can just drag um yeah so there it is so you can just drag and you can place inside the form so this is very important once you placed it so the attributes and the script will automatically be added on the website so there is the script if i show you so this is the one this is the script and the attributes let me show you the attributes as well so we can also see the attributes applied to these elements so this is to the one element and this is to the group okay so this is very important so once you made your form and you have used either the stars or the emojis then let's move on to the next step so when the form is submitted we are making use of webflow logics so there we have created a flow and inside this flow we what we are doing is we are saving the form data to the cms collection list and for this purpose uh, let's move to the so it's very simple you just have to uh, you just have to tell that which form to connect and which cms collection list to connect and then you just have to map the form inputs with the collection items so you can see here you can just click and you can tell that inside the name inside the name um, collection item put name input data so same is the case with other items as well so if you want to get the product name so you can see that uh, the form we are just getting the name of the customer we are getting the text review and we are getting the overall experience so but we are not getting here that on which product page the user submitted the review so you can see that it's a product page and it's a charcoal chocolate hydrosol so we if you want to save if you want to save the product name as well but you don't want to but you don't want the user to select that uh, product just you have to make few changes there so i have created two um, more elements one is the text element and one is the input element inside the same form and the text element is fetching the product name and then we are using another another script that is reflecting the text content to that input field so you can see that we are making use of element ids and we are reflecting the text that is fetching the product name to the and saving it to the input element and then we are just let me show you that inside the webflow logics so inside the product we are saving that uh, input field data so that we should know that on which product page the user submitted the review and what else we are doing so inside the review collection list you can see that we have all the reviews there and all these reviews are displayed on on the product page so let's let's test it with a new 
a new feedback so let's put a name there and we are testing the review form while recording a demo video and let's let's say that the overall experience is very angry so that we we have a different emoji when we see the results so let's submit the review let's get back to the cms collection so when i click here it should appear immediately but let's try to refresh the page So it will not get live on the website it is stacked for publish so that we can review and then we can publish it to the website so let's go to the review cms so there it is stacked for publish so we can go and we can review the the form the, the feedback from the customer and then we can just hit publish So once it's, it's published, then let's let's um, see this on the website. Let's refresh this page. And there we go. So the emoji we selected, the, the name of the customer and the review he placed. So now the user can read all these reviews. So this is how you can uh, submit you can get customer feedback on your website